How do you manipulate someone in the gi with the spider? In the gi, you know, like, in the gi, it's like... Let's say you do a sweep. The sweep, for example, you know, like, uh, if I have you on the knees here on the ground, I'm going to pick, like, uh, my dominant side, you know, like, off, like, uh, my pressure side in the biceps. So, I can do anyone, so I'm going to do my right. So, I would actually extend. So, if I'm doing double sleeve, spider guard, I'm extend one side, then I keep controlling one of your leg. So now look, I have a lot of mobility. I can actually go back, back and forward, control you here, can move my body, which is one thing that's very important on the control, which is a lasso leg, square my body with you. So for a sweep, like the basic of the base sweep, and then for like most of the attack with spider guard, you must know this one. What I do, it's like I extend my leg to the same side of like my strong, my strong side, right, the right, then I take my foot off the biceps on the left. So now, what I do, I'm gonna pendle my leg here. As I pendle my leg here, I get the momentum, my leg go all the way. I change the side of like my body. So now I'm gonna raise you up to the ground here to make you very light. As I make you very light here, as you can see, I'm gonna like push your back leg and then I never release the pressure of my biceps here. So here I can go on top of you, I can take my leg out, come up on top, I can try to go back on top with the mount. I can do like a lot of stuff from this situation. But this is the type of move that you have to learn to use as a combination for your reactions. Like if you post your arm on the ground, if you bring your other leg up. So you must know on the spider guard how to use all the direction with the pressure. Direction up, pressure, direction down, sideways. You know what I mean? So then when you manage that, then you'll be able to connect attacks, you know? Because I can attack you there, but you can post your arm, you can post your leg. So then now, how can I manage to set up another attack? This is one of the most important fundamentals of a spider guard. Know the basic of a sweep. I will say the most important is actually no pressure direction on the biceps, you know? So no, like, for example, the pressure direction is this. So pressure, like a pressure sideways. I'm on the side. Pressure up, I'm up here. Pressure down, I'm pushing you down. Mm. Now, combine, like if I go here, for example, as you can see, sideways. As I change my hips here, down, I'm pulling you. As I'm gonna sweep you, first up. As I finish the sweep, now, sideways. So, most of the time, I'm connect, connect this pressure on the biceps in all directions. When you manage that, then your spider guard starts to be very dangerous on attacks. On the part of the defense, is a little bit like differently, you know, like you don't need to know like all the sides of like pushing and then attack for, for defense, but you need to know the principles that I told you on the beginning, the four principles of like uh, guard retention on a spider guard. Now, could you show me, it looks like you were doing a combination of, or a transition from spider guard to lasso. Yes. Could you show me a sweep of that? Yeah. From spider guard so to like, for example, that is a couple sweeps here. Like I usually, you know, like, uh, usually like when I lasso lag here, you know, like this is very annoying, you know, like very hard to deal sure. with. There's a lot of ways to do a lasso. If I do a lasso defense, I'm gonna bring my hips to the ground here. I'm gonna keep my feet inside and my elbows on the ground. If my elbow is on the ground here, it's very unlikely for you to, to deal with this here. You yeah. know, like, uh, this is like a very, like, a I'm stuck. good control. You're stuck on here. So, one of the things that you can be using here, for example, like, a bring this knee up, like, a, your right knee up, like, a, yes. If you bring your knee up, then you can start to, like, try to use your knee between my leg here to kind of, like, create this space here to pull my elbow off the ground. So then now, if you create a rotation here, then now I lose the power of my lasso. Okay. So what that happened, you know, like when I'm here, my elbow is on the ground, and the person put the leg up, what I do, I'm pressuring him up here. So now I'm going with this leg here, I'm hooking behind his knee here. It's kind of like so a De La Hiva. Exactly, it's a De La Hiva hook behind the knee here. So now what I do this here, then I lean to the side here, I create a tremendous pressure yeah, I can't move. on the bicep, you can't move. Now all I have to do, you can relax, I'm gonna extend, and I sweep you here. Off the sweep here, I have another attack. I can actually just fix, keeping the pressure here. I just just, and then attack your arm. Or just get on top position as well. And like that's one of like uh, my favorite uh, sweeps from the lasso because when you lasso, a lot of times person on top wants to rest, 
like you want to bring the knee up, try to break the lasso here with your knee, and then you have the chance to put the de la heel with the lasso, and then that's a very easy sweep to do from that.